Now I want to talk about uh, political identity and party identity in in the political terms. Now this is um, because a, a story came out, a, a paper was written a little while ago in the US about the very same the, the very same topic and it highlighted how toxic a mentality that can be. The simple fact that you currently identify as insert blank doesn't mean that you have to forever. A political party is not a sports team. Every year the season starts and every single year I stand behind and support fully the Toronto Maple Leafs because I want them to win the Stanley Cup. But the Maple Leafs aren't running a government and they're not setting policies. They are not something that will change over time. The team will always be the team. The same can't be said for the Conservatives or for Labour or for Green or for the Lib Dems. Labour today is a very, very different party to when Tony Blair was running it because Tony Blair, in essence, was a Conservative Tory pretending to be Labour. Thatcher said her greatest achievement was the creation of new Labour and Tony Blair was the embodiment of that. Jeremy Corbyn is not that. When I say I stand behind Labour, it's because I stand behind Jeremy Corbyn, because I've looked at his political history. What he said he wants to do and how he will do it is very reasonable and will actually do a lot of good for the country. Now, Theresa May, on the other hand, when she first came into office, what she was saying was really good. What she promised to, to give the country and to do for the country was fantastic. And if she had kept with that, then I would stand behind the Conservatives. But her political history made me incredibly sceptical because she's typically not been what she promised to give us. And what it turns out she actually did was go the opposite way. We now have a government full of deplorable people, people like Esther McVeigh who claim £170 million on expenses and yet tells the rest of the country that we need to live inside our means and there's nothing wrong with going to food banks because, well, we should live within our fucking means. Clearly, very hypocritical if she's taken £170 million back from the taxpayer. Whereas other Conservative members are saying that if you're unemployed, you should be sterilised. Others making obscenely racist jokes about immigrants being able to claim benefits, but not the English white people. That's the party as it stands right now. But... That's not the party as it might stand in 10, 20 years. So the simple fact that right now the Conservative Party is disgusting on every single level doesn't mean that in 10, 20 years I wouldn't necessarily vote for them because it's not a sports team. It's not a tournament. It's, it's not even a type of film genre or Marvel versus DC. By the way, uh, I think we know where I stand on that as well. But politics is something that changes and evolves. The Republican Party uh, was the party of Lincoln who freed the slaves. When now you look at the Republican Party in America and you can very, very clearly see that Modern day Republican politicians do not hold up to Abraham Lincoln's values. Politics changes. We have to be open, we have to be ready to accept those changes, to move on with those changes, and to change with it. It's not saying that we shouldn't hold politicians accountable for what they said, but simply 
voting for Conservatives or for Labour or for Lib Dem or for Greens because you've always done it really is, well, it's silly because you're not ensuring that your vote counts. You're simply saying that you don't care what that particular party does because that's your party. The ramifications of that are quite severe. So we're seeing that people who always voted for Conservatives voted for Conservatives and our education is crumbling, our NHS is crumbling, everything that was public is being sold off privately and well, we could get dragged into a couple more wars now. We'll just be open to change.